representing the 27 to 30 foot class in the center console category. The Young 27 has an overall length of 27 feet 7 inches, a beam of 9 feet 4 inches, and max horsepower rating of 600. Built for a smooth ride offshore while maintaining access to inshore waters, she has a draft of 17 inches, a dead rise of 20 degrees, a dry weight of 3,700 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 150 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts, George Labonte and Rick Riles. George, you and I get to do a lot of boats on, on Best Boat. I've been waiting a while to do this one. The Young 27, it's a different concept. This is an actual real blue water fishing boat that's backing into an inshore roll. Exactly. You have no trouble on this boat going blue marlin fishing in the morning, and you have no trouble stopping in the afternoon to throw a pilchard under the mangroves for snook. Really a, a new concept, takes hybrid to a different level. A very recognizable feature is the shear line on this boat dip forward a little bit in the bow. The shear line was designed the way it is for a reason, George, for that trolling motor to operate at its maximum efficiency. Let me tell you something, that is a feature that once you've used it offshore, you will never want to fish without it again. That's a good point, Rick. You know, a lot of people don't even consider a trolling motor as an offshore tool. You whip your little remote out, George, you push a button, and you move three feet. It adds a huge new dimension to your bottom fishing. Another thing, I've been on a couple of these Young 27s and they've both been completely different the way they're set up on the inside. I've seen the one, and we've both been on it, that's open all the way forward. There's advantages to that. There's also advantages to doing it this way. Better storage, great fish boxes, and forward, forward seating, seating yeah. for when you're not fishing. If you do a lot of stuff with the family, I mean, mom and the kids want a place to sit down, and it's not gonna be on the gunnels, this is perfect for that. Rick, before we walk back here, I, we can't walk by this. I mean, on a 27-foot boat, this console is very roomy. This isn't a foxhole, I mean, there's a ton of space in there. You've got room enough for a head, which there is one on this boat. You know what, this is a really beefy console. I mean, everything about this boat is beefy feeling. And, you know, well, for one thing, look at this tower right here. I mean, you couldn't get a beefier looking tower. George, that's nobody's crow's nest. That's not an observation platform up there. That is a separate helm station. Everything you've got down here, you've also got up there. Uh, all your electronics, all your everything, what a great place to drive a boat from. And it, it gives you a huge advantage in any kind of fishing that you do that involves seeing something. Let me tell you something else I appreciate about this console. It's short, so I can see over it even when you're throttling up, but it slopes forward. What an advantage if you're getting spray or getting rained on. You know what, Rick, it's those little details that really stand out. I mean, also notice you got the slightly recessed electronic panel here. I mean, just setting it back a little bit, keeping it out of the weather, keeping you from leaning into it by accident. Just clever little touches. I mean, they're all over the boat here. Well, in the door I showed you right inside the console there, it just slides in here, locks it up. You can leave it in the parking lot at night without worrying about your electronics. Well, well thought out. George, we've talked all about how beefy the boat is. The helm station itself, plush, fits it a lot better than beefy does. At this helm right here, you've got 12 places to put Plano trays and leader caddies, a knife holder, all that stuff on both sides of the boat. You've got four big drawers right here on the back of this helm station too. Think about your teasers, your squid chains, all that. You gotta have a place for them too. This is ideal for that. They've got a removable cutting board right there that not only does it not scar, but you can flip it over if you want to, so it always looks good. Very clever. This boat's set up with carbon fiber outrigger poles. This is really a blue water fishing machine back here. Now, you know, we've got the seat cushions in and that seat back, which is removable. You take that stuff out and we're in the cockpit of a sport fish boat. Sure, with three giant live wells. You can keep enough live bait in here to chum all day long if you want to. Two long five foot fish boxes here. Okay, and they're not real deep, they're not too big. Do you understand what I'm saying about ice management? Yeah, you put a 60 pound Wahoo in this box, but you don't need 150 pounds of ice to keep that space cool. Exactly, it's just one of the thousand little things we've been talking about. Let me tell you, if you are an offshore fisherman who really kind of looks at those guys that are catching snook and trout and redfish on the way home and think, I'd love to be able to do that, you need to take a serious look at the Young 27.